All right, here we go, 125 pounds. Nick Piganini for Oklahoma State. Sean Russell wrestling for Minnesota. Number four versus number five here. Nick Piccanini's in the number four rank wrestler. He's trying to climb up. No, you know, we talked about this a lot last yep, year. Working past that elbow. You gotta control, you, you know, the way that college wrestling's getting called right now, you cannot go off the mat. You, you can't back straight off the nope. mat. And Sean did a good job circling back to the center there. I like th that it's we're in year two of the you have to make a call. And I feel like the referees have done a much better job of getting it. Right. All right. Hey, we're calling something, and we know exactly where you guys are going and what you're doing on the edge of the mat. And if it's if if you back off here, see what they. Yep. Continuous action. There yep, it is. Continuous action. So that one, that one's not gonna call. But yeah, I think, and I think that wrestlers have adjusted as well. Uh, you know, they know. Hey. I have to make adjustments to my style because what I was doing before is now going to get me in trouble. A little slide-by attempt there by Sean nice. Russell is not going to get him anything, but it's a you know good movement early. Yeah. Taking a couple swats. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was nice. Equal single there by picking anybody misses the leg a little bit, but that's, that's some good movement. Russell just kind of stepped out of it, but man, that was uh, he had a direct line to that leg. twice now that uh, Piccadini's been in trying to work to get to that front head position. Mm -hmm. This is the home debut for uh, Sean Russell, a it transfer. Uh, first stall warning now on Russell. It's a first one comes early, but you know, I, I, he's right. Sean hasn't done a lot yet. Right. So he's going to be a little more active. Piccinini's fired off a few shots. Russell's definitely, you know, backing out a little bit here. He might get hit. He might, yeah. Oh, there it is. Called again. Wow. Yeah, that was quick. Up. Yep. A little quicker than I expected. I think the crowd, the crowd doesn't appreciate it. Yeah, referee might have backed himself into a corner a little bit there. Calls it while they're, you know, in, in action. And then on the back out, it's, it was an obvious. I mean, he had to call it there. But, yep. uh, hey. By the rule. It's I like it. Another there nice it is. Shot there Got him going. Russell. There it is. Now, he got here in the last time these guys wrestled a few different times and couldn't finish. Let's see if he can get it done. God, that he, Nick Piccanini is doing such a good job of keeping yep. him away from him, pushing off of that head, pushing off the body. And, and he's got that long. That distance. Yep. He's got that long 25 body. It's, it's, he can, the, he can fight here. He comes from the mold. Man. That. <laughs> <laughs> they just duplicate him down in Stillwater. Whether it's Coleman Scott oh, or it's. Oh, I don't like that call. We're going to go out of bounds there. I, I mean. Yeah. Isn't it a cylinder? It's a cylinder, right? It's not they, a line. They call it a cylinder. It's not a sphere. <laughs> Good hard snap there. But, you know, Sean's got to he, – he, every step so far has kind of been back. Yep. And he's got to change the way that that he's, he's advancing right now. He tried that slide by earlier. Let's see if he – with Piccinini going forward like he is. Let's see if he tries it again. You know, credit to Piccinini. He's done a good job. That was a great first period by yeah. him, keeping pressure forward. For sure. Looks like Oklahoma State's got the odds, so they are going to have the choice here. Russell's got to be feeling a little frustrated now. This is – that's the third time in two matches. The last time these guys wrestled, he got to that leg like he did twice in the, in the previous match and once here where he hasn't been able to finish on Piccinini. It's got, it's got to be getting in his head a little bit. Looks like everybody's kind of working out the kinks as the scores tables. It's a new season. Yeah. They weren't in here training all off season, running clock. I mean, they probably should have been, but. Just practicing, putting points on exactly. the board. Exactly. Gonna go out of the cylinder here and come back to the center. Piccanini's still down. As I said, uh, Sean Russell making his Minnesota home debut. He transferred in from Edinburgh mm -hmm. uh, last year. He's got one year of eligibility left. Gulf's got to be excited to pick up a guy like that. So I don't think Agum knew what color they were there. Uh, he was really clapping for that caution, but it was on Minnesota. So uh -huh. Now last time, Sean gave up a, a riding time point, so he does need to, you know, if he can ride for as long as possible mm -hmm. here. Now the ref is counting again. He's got to climb He's up. He's down on that leg. There he goes. So, 
Really good job by Piccanini nice continuing shot. to work, but what I like there is uh, Russell, he, he made him work super yep. hard for that one point. Definitely. Now a good hard pull here, kind of bring him back down to his knees would really kind of go a long ways, I think. I like Piccinini right out and then right in yeah. on a shot. Went for it right away, Great. trying to catch Russell sleeping, but Russell was ready for it. Got his, got his hips down, stretched him out. Right now he's he's got his back to the center. He's got to yep. circle back into the center. And that's really kind of I mean, you look at what Nick's doing right now. He he's controlling the center. He's always keeping his back to the center of the oh, mat. Nice shot. Another Let's see good if he can shot. finish this time. He's in deep again. No. Nope. Piccinini does a good job kicking out of that. He's getting there. He's getting there. Crowd's so, calling for the stall call. Home home field advantage a little bit here. Trying to get this get on the ref. Hey, we fired off, you know, Minnesota's fired off three shots now and still no call, but Piccinini doing a good job staying right in the middle. Crowd really getting yeah. on him now, if you guys can hear that. There's a good shot. I mean, I, yep. I don't know that it is stalled I don't know. yet. I don't yeah. think so. I think Nick's been doing a good job. You know, we just talked about he got an escape and fired in on the leg right away. I don't, now again, controlling the mat. Russell's got a circle here. Well, time's winding down now in the second period. Russell doing a good job with his fakes. I think he's, uh, even though he's not necessarily the aggressor, or at yeah. least it doesn't look like it, he's still doing a good job faking, keeping Piccinini off balance. So it's Minnesota's choice, and, and they're taking, they're going to have him take down. He did get rolled out yep. last time. Uh, Sean Russell has 28 seconds of riding time right now. Obviously, that's going to start working its way down as soon as the ref blows a whistle here in this third period. Nick Piccinini leads 2-0. to zero. In terms of game script this is exactly the way it went last time mm -hmm. the difference was last time it was a penalty point not a stalling point and Sean we'll Russell see if, we'll see if Russell feet. can get away anybody's match if he can get away he's working on a cross wrist tilt here yep. going to a claw right now you see a lot of that and you know, I think a lot of that maybe probably comes from both Chris Perry and Alex Daring are really good at that. Uh, Chris Perry, especially claw ride and that yep. side headlock. He was phenomenal at that position. He's on staff now with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So far, Piccinini doing a good job, just controlling his hips. Broke him down, almost flat a couple times. Russell up to his feet again. He's trying to work on there getting free. There's that oh. hands are still locked, though. Hands, hands are, are still locked. locked. So right now the ref's counting. So Piccanini's technically supposed to work up right now. There's a stall warning on him. I uh, think he's he probably start it should again, break right? the action. Yeah. So there's a warning for stalling. The riding time's up to 15 seconds yep. now in favor of Oklahoma State. Minute 14 to go in this third period. Right away, Piccanini's up high on the chest, kind of putting weight on, on Russell's hands. Russell's able to get to his feet. Turn back in. Want to go off again, 27 seconds of riding time now. Minute two left in the third period. Zach Esposito over there really stressing a mat return. So let's see if Russell gets up, if Piccinini gets around the hips and just goes for an all effort mat return. He doesn't, I mean, I don't think either wrestler's showing any real signs of fatigue quite yet. I mean, no. they both look like they're still no, wrestling No, they both look fresh. They're, they're, they're both wrestling hard, even though not, not a lot's happening. There, yeah. There's been. Piccanini's got a cross wrist tilt right now. Close. And he's gonna one count, nothing. couple one counts. Russell's got to stay out of that crab ride, and every time that 45 he's close seconds. to his sit, he's going to get pulled in he's that crab ride. He's got 15 to get out, 15 to get out. They go out of bounds again. The Gopher fans are, I, I, I'm hearing a lot of stalling calls, but do we, I mean, Sean Russell was just on his back a little bit ago. So yeah, no, he's, I, I think Piccinini's getting after it. He's, for sure. He's doing a good job holding him down, looking busy. But Russell's doing the same thing. I mean, it's yeah. this is just a well-contested match. And a second caution now on Sean Russell. You do get two free ones. Next one will cost you. Don't want that third one. Nope. That would be that penalty point you were talking That's about. It's no good. 
So riding time's at 51 seconds right now. Sean, not a, he's up to his feet. He's got to get away soon. He's going to get brought back down. Again, going, you know, Nick Higney going back to that claw ride, that tight waist claw, and it's just, man, if you've never been there, it's a frustrating position because that Very tight waist tough. claw is, is, is really, really hard to get out of. And he's good at it, and yep. he's long. Looks like he's got a few inches on Russell. Mm -hmm. Not much, but, I mean, that's makes a difference when you get down there. Got a little extra length to uh, pull somebody into your lap and control them there. 23 seconds left, and riding time's now getting close to being assured. Great, Matt, return there nice. by Piganini. And again, we're going to go out of the bounds. Minute 15. So riding times is assured now. So it is essentially a 3-0 lead for Piccinini. In that just that tight waist near side claw is just so hard. And he, he's doing such a good job with that yep. forward pressure. He just keeps climbing up. Smart, tough. Different singlet for Russell, but same match. Same result, yep. So Nick Piccinini's going to win this one 3-0, give Oklahoma State Cowboys three team points, and that's the first of a, you know, a toss-up matchup that's going to go Oklahoma State's way. Yep. 